Hello and welcome to Wildlife World. Aren't owls fantastic? They're secretive birds that we often don't see, and yet they suffer like a lot of wildlife as a result of the way we manage the countryside. Owls are specialist small mammal hunters, and so they depend very heavily on the right type of countryside and the right environment for them to nest and breed and survive year after year. There are seven species of owl that occur in the UK, but five main species you're likely to encounter. The little owl is our smallest owl and nests in tree hollows, run down farm buildings and even in holes in the ground. It is often seen out during the day and eats a wide variety of smaller prey such as beetles, worms and grasshoppers as well as small mammals and birds. Little owls are in heavy decline in the UK as a result of losing valuable hunting habitats being poisoned by the use of insecticides, high young mortality and through the loss of nest sites. The barn owl is our white farmland owl which nests in tree hollows in barns and hunts for its small mammal prey usually in low light or darkness by using its amazing hearing to pinpoint voles and mice without even seeing them. Many wild barn owls die from starvation because of habitat loss, often a result of intensive land management, and also from collisions with traffic whilst crossing low over busy highways. Many lose their natural nest sites through tree felling or barn conversions. We can help barn owls and their young survive by creating and conserving rough grassland fields or margins to encourage voles and ensure the owls have a source of food all year round. The highly territorial and nocturnal tawny owl is the familiar Tuit Tuwu woodland owl. Nesting in tree hollows, squirrel drays and sometimes abandoned crow's nests, tawny owls often call to advertise occupation of the territories. During the day, its brown, bark-like plumage gives it great camouflage when hiding against a tree branch. Tawny owls eat small mammals, birds, insects, amphibians, worms and other small prey items. Tawny owl chicks leave the nest after only three to four weeks old and spend the rest of their development up in the trees. Sometimes they can fall to the ground, but if you should find a young tawny owl on the ground, you should leave it alone if it is uninjured as this is natural behaviour and whilst the chicks can climb back up into nearby trees the protective parents will also be keeping a watchful eye nearby. The surprisingly small long-eared owl normally nests in an abandoned crow's nest on the edge of coniferous forests and shelter belts. This generally quiet owl is a master of camouflage and is very difficult to locate when it is hiding in trees or hedges using its ear-like feather tufts and cryptic plumage to great effect. Long-eared owls eat voles and small birds and hunt over fields with long wings in a similar fashion to the barn owl. The moorland short-eared owl is an owl that can be seen hunting in the daytime in its northern breeding habitats. A ground nesting owl, voles, small mammals and sometimes lizards and insects are the primary prey items of this small species. In the winter, many short-eared owls migrate south and it is at this time that habitats created for barn owls can be of great value to visiting short-eared owls. At Wildlife World, we've developed a range of nest boxes for owls, which are made from the highest quality timbers. They're FSC certified from sustainably managed forests. And these boxes incorporate the very best features for each individual species to ensure maximum survival of the chicks and security of the birds using them. The little owl box has a front corridor to cut down light, leading to a reduced size entrance hole which deters unwelcome visitors. The main nesting chamber has a bolted front hatch providing easy access for inspection or maintenance. This box should be installed facing approximately east at about six to nine feet high on a tree in a field or woodland edge or it can be mounted on the side of a suitable farm building. The tawny owl box should be installed about eight to twelve feet high on a large tree near the woodland edge, in a copse or in hedgerow making sure there is an easy flight path into the front entrance hole, but also ensuring there are plenty of nearby branches that can be reached by emerging owlets. The box has a built-in perch plus an inspection hatch with bolt for annual cleaning and inspection. Be aware that tawny owls can be very protective of their young, so the box should be installed in an area where there is minimal human activity. 
The Wildlife World Barn Owl Box has been developed to offer the very best features for this beautiful and highly protected species. A large nesting chamber with drainage holes provides ample room for growing chicks, which can stay in the box for up to 16 weeks. The large front shelf with lip offers an ample and safe landing and exercise area, plus the flat roof with waterproofing gives additional exercise space for growing chicks. It should be remembered that barn owls are a Schedule 1 species and have high protection by British law, and only licensed individuals can inspect the box if it is used by breeding barn owls. So as with all Wildlife World Owl Boxes, a camera clip is factory fitted to enable fast and easy installation of an optional Wildlife World infrared camera. This can be connected to a television and used to monitor the nest box without disturbing the owls. By installing an owl box from Wildlife World, you can do your bit for British owls.